Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Um, yeah, in today's video we are gonna add a new function to our helpful module. And we actually, because I forgot to do that uh, last episode, implement the iframes um, that we have made last episode. And yeah, and we are gonna add a new stat in our stats module. So let's uh, do that first. Let's have a new set and that is a swing reset. I'm gonna set it to 0.1 and here to 0.12 or 0.15. And then let's open our weapon server script. And then we can, um, eh, not the weapon server script, sorry, our uh, combat server script. And here we can get uh, our weapon sets module. I'm just gonna copy this over from here. Boom. And then you can also copy uh, this line. And we can put that here. And now we can just pass our current weapon through. And instead of damage, we will get the swing reset. And swing reset. Make sure this is has the same name as in your stat. And then instead of the task one point point one, we are gonna just do our swing reset. That is the time uh, that passes from this event. So. You have to wait with your rapier or your weapon the swing a swing reset amount of time to swing your weapon again after this um hit and keyframe. Yeah, okay, I just wanted to do that. Now let's open hit service because uh, we forgot to add here if e humanoid health is over zero or um Enemy character get attribute iframes uh, or not. Um, enemy character get attribute iframes then and not at all. and not. So if the enemy's health is over zero and um, they don't have iframes, then we just want to do all of the damage stuff. Okay. And now let's um, make a new function for our helpful module. Um, so that function is gonna just gonna help us with checking for all of those attributes. So uh, function module dot check for attributes, and then we are gonna have our character here. Then attack, stun, ragdoll, and equipped. Then let's get all of them first. We can just copy that from here from our combat. Uh, yeah, from our combat script. Boom. And then we're gonna have. Um, a new value that is stop and we're gonna set that to false here and then down here we're gonna return false uh, we're gonna return stop and now we're gonna check here if attacking and attack then we're gonna set stop to true and okay so if the attacking attribute is true and we want to check if it's true then we would set the stop uh, to true oh it worked to put end here um, and yeah that would then uh, pretty much stop this so we're pretty much just doing this but in a side of yeah inside of a function uh, so we can actually already replace this. So, uh, 
Oh, we actually have to require the module first, so... Local. Helpful module. Equals to... Others. Helpful. And then... Um, if... Helpful module. Dot check for attributes. Then our character. Then we want to check for everything. We want to check for attack, stun, ragdoll, and decrypt. Um, if one of them would be true, then we want to return end. Okay. Now let's continue with, uh, here. So we can just pretty much copy this two more times and change this to stunned. Uh, so if stunned and stun then we would also stop it and if is ragdoll and ragdoll then we would stop it but now for the crypt because we don't want to always check for a crypt like in our weapon server yeah we don't want to check for it we are gonna uh, change the if statement a bit here so if equipped um does not equal to no and not uh is a oh oops and uh, let's change this to is equipped can't be the same as up here uh, and not is equipped then stop end yeah so here we um oh then stop equals to true yeah so if it equals to no we don't even want to check that okay now we can uh, use that in our weapon server too just replace all of this with this oh we have to require the module but also remove the last true statement so it's no uh, let's just copy have module from here and put it under source module oh boom also have to get the folders first so locus s modules equals to uh Oh, we don't even has, have server storage here yet. And let's get it first, so local server storage. Or oh, SS equals to game service server storage. And then server storage with dot modules. Okay. And yeah, that should now uh, work. Yep, equipping and unequipping works the same. And swinging also still works the same. Okay. Then this wraps up the episode. Yep, we can't equip iframe people. And yeah, that's everything. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great day. See ya.